Gears of War is a video game franchise created by Epic Games, developed and managed by The Coalition, and owned and published by Microsoft Studios. The series focuses on the conflict between humanity, the subterranean reptilian hominids known as the Locust Horde, and their mutated counterparts, the Lambent. The franchise consists of four third-person shooter video games, which has also been supplemented by a comic book series and five novels. The first installment, titled Gears of War, was released on November 7, 2006 for the Xbox 360. The game follows protagonist Marcus Phoenix, a soldier in the coalition of ordered governments tasked to lead a last-ditch effort to destroy the Locust Horde and save humanity. In 2013, Epic Games and Microsoft released Gears of War, Judgment, a prequel to the series' first title, which instead focuses on Damon Baird, one of Phoenix's squad mates. At E3 2015, Gears of War Ultimate Edition was announced for Microsoft Windows. Gears of War was developed by Epic Games. Cliff Blesensky, who has previously worked on Epic's Unreal Tournament games, served the series' lead game designer for the first three installments. He was inspired by gameplay elements from Resident Evil 4, Kill Switch, and Bionic Commando. The series was also guided by Rod Ferguson, the executive producer and director of development of Epic Games until 2012. All four installments of the Gears of War series use a modified version of the Unreal Engine 3 engine. On January 27, 2014, Microsoft acquired all rights to the franchise from Epic Games. Canadian studio The Coalition is developing Gears of War 4 for Xbox One. Gears of War became one of the best-selling franchises for the Xbox 360. The series is well known for its emphasis on cover-based combat system, in which players can use objects to avoid gunfire or safely engage enemies. All four installments in Gears of War featured several multiplayer modes that allowed players to compete against each other or team up to battle AI opponents on Xbox Live. The Gears of War games have been amongst the most popular and most played titles on Xbox Live. Setting The Gears of War series takes place on a fictional Earth-like planet named Sira, colonized by humans sometime in the series' past. The planet had a history of conflict that took Sira to the brink of destruction. This shocked the people into a rejection of their destructive ways, leading to a golden age of culture, science and the arts. Though civil liberties and crime remained troublesome social issues, the energy demands of Sira's population soon surpassed the planet's traditional energy sources like petroleum and nuclear. A search for new energy sources led to the discovery of emulsion, a glowing liquid with near-unlimited energy potential found in chambers and veins beneath the planet's surface. Due to its potential, wars broke out over control of the emulsion, the largest being a 79-year war between the Coalition of Ordered Governments and the Union of Independent Republics. This ended when COG opted to use its orbital laser weapon, the Hammer of Dawn, to ravage UIR cities. The COG then negotiated peace treaties with the remaining collations and became the dominant government on Sira. Shortly after this, the bulk of the population was wiped out by a new threat. Sentient creatures called Locusts that spewed out from underground and attacked across the planet. The onset became known as Emergence Day. COG evacuated survivors to Jacinta Plateau, where the hard rock would prevent the locusts from tunneling from beneath. Those humans who could not leave their homes or refused to do so became known as the Stranded. Cog then employed a scorched earth tactic, turning the Hammer of Dawn against its own cities to deny the Locust any tactical advantages. Cog ordered its troops, Gears, to continue to protect the plateau while finding ways to end the Locust threat completely. The first game occurs about 14 years after Emergence Day. Marcus Phoenix is a former Gear who was imprisoned for abandoning his post to protect his father Adam, a lead researcher in studying the Locust. 
Marcus is rescued from military prison by his closest friend, Dominic Dom Santiago, moments before the prison is consumed by locust attacks. He soon re-enlists in the Gears because they lacked sufficient forces. Marcus leads a squad named Delta Team, including Dom, Augustus Cole, and Damon Baird, into discovering the source of the locust. Using research left by his father, Delta Team ignites a lightness bomb at this source, destroying a large number of locusts. However, the Queen Locust, Myra, escapes, and vows revenge for the destruction. In Gears of War 2, Myra regroups her remaining forces and organizes a counter-attack using a giant earth-eating worm, which is called the Rift Worm, to whittle the land away from the Jacinta Plateau and sink it. Gears forces, including Delta Team, are sent underground to attack the Locust directly and stop the action. They find a secret COG research facility, as well as locust slaves where captured humans, including Dom's wife Maria, have been forced to work. As they invade the main locust base, they find that the locusts are fighting on another front against what they name Lambent, locust forces that have been corrupted by exposure to the emulsion. Despite this, Myra refuses to end the war. Though most of the locusts drown in the flooding, Myra and hundreds of other locusts barely escape, while a radio broadcast from Adam, heard after the game credits finish, begs to know what Marcus has done. Gears of War 3 occurs two years later. Without Jacinto, Cog has collapsed and remnants of humanity work to scavenge supplies while facing new threats from locust and lambent forces that have fled to the surface. Marcus learns of a rumor that his father is being held at his era, a resort island, and with Delta Team and new allies, he heads toward it. While working to acquire emulsion for a submarine, they learn that humans can also be affected by emulsion and become lambent as well. Dom sacrifices himself to allow Marcus and the others to continue on. At his era, Marcus finds his father, secured in a former hotel, who explains that he had discovered the corruption of emulsion before, and has been trying to find a way to eradicate it for both humans and locust. Marcus is shocked to discover that Adam has been working with Myra. Adam explains that he found the means to cure humanity and end the lambent threat using an energy dish at the top of the hotel. And while he has been desperately working to accommodate the locust after promising this to Myra, he has run out of time and that the energy wave that will cure humans will kill the locust. Myra arrives and discovers Adam's betrayal. The Gears fight off Myra and kill her, allowing Adam to activate the device, which also ends up killing him as he was his own guinea pig for the technology. Marcus takes a moment to consider his losses before joining with his friends and other humans in their victory. The fourth game of Gears of War, Judgment, focuses on Baird and Cole during the early days after Emergence Day, with military cadet Sophia Hendrick and Garen Paddock, a former UIR soldier, they comprise the Kilo Squad. Baird disobeys orders to use a secret weapon of mass destruction to destroy locust forces and save survivors at Halvo Bay, despite also killing the powerful locust leader Khan. The squad is court-martialed because they disobeyed orders and Baird is demoted from officer to private. A separate campaign, Aftermath, portrays Baird, Cole, and Paddock in the hours before the activation of the anti-emulsion energy wave. The fifth game, Gears of War 4, was shown on E3 2015 on June 15. More updates would be revealed later from the developers. Gameplay Gears of War is a third-person shooter game with its core concepts being derived from Resident Evil 4 S over-the-shoulder perspective, kill switch S cover system, and Bionic Commando S swinging action akin to moving between points of cover. The series focuses on using cover to tactically engage the enemy in battle to avoid taking damage. While behind cover, the player can fire blindly and inaccurately at their opponent, or can look around the cover and aim carefully. 
though exposing himself to enemy fire. The player can also slide along cover, move between nearby cover, or vault over cover to race to a new point of cover. As the player takes damage, the Crimson Omen appears on the HUD, becoming more defined as the player nears low health levels. The player can regenerate their health by staying out of harm's way for a short while. Should the player take too much damage, they will become incapacitated unless revived by a teammate. Depending on game mode, the player may be able to recover from this state on their own, or may die after a short amount of time if not revived. When a combatant is down, a member of the other side may also attempt to execute the downed player via a curb stomp or other brutal methods. As well, some types of damage will immediately kill the player with no chance of revival, such as explosive damage. There are five levels on the first two games, but they are referred to as acts, and each act is formed into a certain amount of chapters. Players in Gears can only carry four different weapons, with the exception of the fourth game, allowing one primary weapon slot that can carry weapons which include, but are not limited to, assault rifles, a sniper rifle, grenade launchers and an explosive bow, one grenade slot, which may be filled with up to four grenades of a specific type, and one pistol-type weapon. Players can either obtain ammo or swap out their current weapons with any weapon dropped by a downed foe or from those scattered around the various maps. Most weapons feature the active reload ability, either after a weapon has run out of an ammo clip or when the player starts a manual reload, a meter is shown on screen, and the player can attempt to stop the meter in a certain marked area. If the player stops the meter in the marked area, their reload will be completed faster than if they did not attempt an active reload. And if the player can stop the meter at a specific section of the marked area, they will gain a temporary slight damage boost with each reloaded shot in a faster reload. If the player stops the meter outside this area, the gun will become temporarily jammed and slow down the reload time. While most of the weapons are based on standard shooter archetypes, Gears' S signature weapon is the Lancer, an assault rifle that has a mounted chainsaw bayonet which can be used in close quarter combat to instantly kill her standard foe. Most other weapons also can be used to bash opponents in melee, or in the case of grenades, can be stuck to a foe, exploding a few seconds later. In Gears of War 2 and 3, all four types of grenades can be planted on any reachable surface, detonating when an opponent comes close to it. If the opponent spots the grenade, he or she can detonate it from a safe distance by shooting it. All Gears games feature a campaign mode that can be played cooperatively with one other player. The two players take the roles of two cog soldiers, Marcus Phoenix and Dominic Dom Santiago, as they fight the Locust. In the third game the campaign allows for up to four players to play together at the same time. The campaign mode features several levels of difficulty. At various times, the campaign will offer a choice of paths the first player can still hect. If the second player is present, they will be forced to take the other path. The third and fourth players in Gears of War 3 will be separated between the paths of the first and second players. In these areas, all players generally have to work together to get them through the section, such as by one player providing covering fire while the second player opens a switch that allows the first player to then proceed. The competitive multiplayer mode in Gears 1 features 8 players while in Gears 2 features up to 10 players split between COG and Locust forces in a number of gameplay types. Modes include Warzone and Execution, both similar to a typical deathmatch, and Annex and King of the Hill, where teams have to control a marked zone on the map. In the mode Guardian, one member of each team is designated as the leader. As long as the leader is still alive, his or her teammates can respawn indefinitely. As soon as the leader is executed, his or her teammates can no longer respawn. Gears of War 3 features better AI, as in past games the AI went around the obstacle even if it had been destroyed. 
However, Gears 3 the AI will recognize that the obstacle has been destroyed and are free to walk over it. Games Gears of War Gears of War is a third-person shooter video game developed by Epic Games and published by Microsoft Studios. It was initially released for the Xbox 360 on November 7, 2006 in North America, and on November 17, 2006 in Europe. While it was initially released as an exclusive title, it was also released for the PC on June 11, 2007, and is currently the only game in the series to have a PC version. Gears of War follows Delta Squad's effort to help deploy Lightmus Bomb deep in the Locust Tunnels to wipe out the Locust threat. In April 2015, it was confirmed that a remastering of the game was being developed for the Xbox One, with the Coalition working on the project. After Microsoft acquired the rights to the Gears franchise from Epic Games in 2014, Gears of War 2 Gears of War 2 is a third-person shooter video game published by Microsoft Studios. It is the sequel to Gears of War, and was announced by lead designer Cliff Blesensky during the February 20, 2008 Game Developers Conference. It was released worldwide November 7, 2008. The game uses a heavily upgraded version of the Unreal Engine 3. Gears of War 2 takes place after the first game, where the Locust are now attempting to sink Jacinta Plateau, and the COG forces have decided to launch a counter-offensive to stop them before they can complete their attempt. Ultimately the COG sinks Jacinto themselves to flood the Locust's home, the Hollow and drown them. A PC version of the game was cancelled by the developers citing poor sales of the original PC version of Gears of War as well as concerns over piracy. Gears of War 3 Gears of War 3 is the concluding part to the trilogy. Originally with an April 6, 2011 release date, it was moved to September 20, 2011 to anchor Microsoft Studios' holiday portfolio for the Xbox 360. Gears of War 3 takes place 18 months after the end of Gears of War 2. Marcus, Dom, and the last remnants of humanity must band together to survive against the Locust and Lambent, while trying to find Marcus's father and end the war. In the end, a weapon developed by Marcus of Father Adam Phoenix is detonated, wiping out the Locust and the Lambent, as well as ending the war. Gears of War Judgment Gears of War Judgment is the fourth installment of the Gears of War series released on March 19, 2013. It was first announced on May 31, 2012 and was revealed at E3 on June 4, 2012. At the conference they showed off the first trailer, mainly focused on series mainstay Baird. Baird will be accompanied by Augustus, Coltrane, Cole and two new characters, Garen Paddock and Sophia Hendrick, who make up Kilo Squad. Kilo Squad is ultimately put on trial by another new character, Ezra Loomis. Gears of War 4 Gears of War 4 is an upcoming Xbox One game currently in development by the Coalition. Backwards Compatibility Microsoft announced on August 3, 2015 that the four Gears of War titles that launched on Xbox 360, Gears of War, Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, and Gears of War, Judgment, will be available on Xbox One through the Backwards Compatibility program. Music the video game music for Gears of War was composed by Kevin R.I.E.P.L., who has previously worked with Epic Games on soundtracks for Unreal Tournament 2003, Unreal Tournament 2004 and Unreal Championship 2. The music for Gears of War 2 and Gears of War 3 was composed by Steve Jablonski. Additionally, the franchise has inspired music from other artists. American thrash metal band Megadeth recorded a song for the first game's release, first as an instrumental then with lyrics. For the third game, rapper Ice-T, who was cast as Griffin, reunited his metal band Body Count to record a song centered around the Gears universe.